the goosebump inducing entrance of Matt Basso. The man who many would say should have won last month's Riot City Rumble were it not for the interference, the blatant interference of the rest of the Millennial. See, I, I would have said he would have won the Riot City Rumble if he didn't run away during the match, which run is what happened. He was beaten out of the ring by big Brody Marshall. That does not count, Wolf Dog. He left. As far as I'm concerned, that was fourth of, the, of these contenders. Matt Basso the was never eliminated from the Riot City Rumble, and that's why, thank goodness, General Manager Tom Burns is playing favourites already. Exactly, yeah. Has signed this match. Do you mind? Well, let's get on to some more important things. How good does Luke Santa Maria look in that $700 suit? That is awesome. If that suit $700, he overpaid. He still looks like a mug. There's the bell, here we go. Number one contendership for the RCW Men's Championship on the line, lock up. Pound for pound, Dean Brady, one of the strongest men in Riot City. But you could say the same about Matt Grimm Basso. Thrown down like a rag doll right there by Grimm. Now going back in a little bit of time here, if you remember, Sean, you, I'm pretty sure you will. 2015 Strength Cup, these two were in the uh, semi-final match. That's right. And what, a, what an incredible match it was, and it was one of the few times I've seen Matt Grimbasso run around the rim. You and I commented that we had never seen him taken off his feet in an overhead suit like this. So I've really been looking forward to this matchup, regardless of whether I agree or not, it should be happening. You guys notice something here on Dean Brady's right bicep? See what that armband reads? Captain! Yeah, he's the captain of the Millennials. What's, what's, what's the problem? Interesting. I would have thought your friend in the uh, $700 suit would be the captain of the I think you'll find Dean Brady started the Millennials. He recruited James Gray. He's recruited Luke Santa Maria. One half of the Warzone Tag Team Champions. In a $900 suit. It looks beautiful. Why hasn't he asked you to join them? Because I don't have a geriatric ward. Hammerlock from Grimm. Brady trying to make some distance, but no go. Look out. Uh -oh. I could do with another, thank you, sir. Wow! Big knee to the midsection by Dean Brady. We had to do something to stop that. Because now Matt, Grim Matt Grimbasso has the... Uh, this to contend with here, well, almost. Down go Cray and Santa Maria. Like it or not, he is going to have to contend with the Millennials. Oh! Wow. And yeah, for a normal man, that'd be a problem. But Matt Grimbasso is no normal man. Did Matt Basso just chop Dean Brady or did a gun go off? Well, I think he almost ch chopped Dean Brady back in 2015. Oh, he said, what? Luke Santa Maria is just passing me his thousand dollar suit jacket here. I know it's a thousand bucks, okay. I mean, I know the Warzone Tag Team Championship, one half of at least, is quite a prestigious title to carry. Quite a prestigious belt moniker, but nevertheless, Gr Grim chasing Brady. Well, Dean Brady, who I still believe is the rightful number one contender of the RCW Championship, <laughs> he did win the Riot City Rumble. Oh, look at this! My German suplex! Middle of the ring! That's what we were talking about. Barely a two count on that. How many people can you honestly say in the history of Matt Grimbasso's career, in his entire career, have been able to manhandle him like that? And from a no start like that, just pick up and drop. That is just the raw power of Dean Brady. As you mentioned, the captain. He's a blue chip athlete. Hey, look at that! That is exactly why. Cover, ladies, hook, cover, cover. For those playing the Dean Brady drinking game, we are at two suplexes. Rear chin lock here by Dean Brady now. Got to cut the oxygen off of the big man. Was... Very smart tactic. You're not going to do much good taking him off his feet if you can't take that out as well. Oh, look at this, look at this determination of Matt Grimbasso. And the tenacity of Dean Brady hanging on. 
As we mentioned a little bit earlier, Savannah Summers, of course, Matt Grimbasso is a former three-time RCW champion. If he wins this number one contendership, he's on the way to being the most decorated champion in Riot City history. Off of Grimm's elbows there, Brady's head like one of those bobblehead toys, just bouncing around. Look at this! Look at this, the Millennials getting up there on the apron. There's well, no bloody I, need for it. I actually think the Millennials were trying to get Matt Basso's autograph. What? I, I'm sure that's why they were up there. Are you insane? No, my mum had me tested them not. See, look, they're big fans. Got to hope Grim belts both of them. Santa Maria and Cray. I hope not. That's, is that popcorn? That could go everywhere. Wow. If Grim, if Grim gets to do that to James Cray, he'll knock him all the way back to England. So Bethnal Green, London, England. There, there, there is nothing I could possibly say to put that into words. Big right hand there by Matt Grimbasso. The big man follow him up. Oh, look at this though. Then Brady once again. Speaking of uh, tenacity. Standing switch after standing switch here. Have oh, a big close line. line. Close line, wow. As I tied him up before he knocked him down. He so badly wants to be the uh, number one contender. Get another shot. Of course, our RCW champion, Big Brody Marshall. Oh, look at this. Deckham Grimm. Oh, you know, Matt Grimbass, I almost attacked the millennials there. How rude is that? Yeah, Brady still thinks it's the rumble. Oh, come on. Well, maybe he should. See, he's eliminated for it. There you go, the controversy's finished. He's eliminated yeah. it for the rumble. Get him, Brady. How did I know you were going to say that? Well, that just proved there was no controversy. If he hadn't run away like a scared child. Him up and slams him right down. One well, of the millennials there trying to confirm their referee. Oh, come on. Referee Michael Kent in the middle of it. Hey, what the bloody hell's going on here? Oh, thank God for this. We believe he already had his match. Far out. You've got to be kidding. Well, Big Brody Marsh is obviously, obviously out here to do How to Destroy a Chair 101. And now he's going to do 102 and 103 by the look of it. Oh, look at this. Marshall siding with the Millennials to get rid of his biggest rival. He's offering the captain of the Millennials a free shot here. Oh, look at this. Have a good look at Matt Grimbass on his face. No respect. Respect. God damn it. The real bar. Oh, he's out, Cole. Oh, look at this. Wow. What the hell's going on? Marshall wants to take out everybody that's a contender for his title. And for those that are doing the uh, Big Brody Marshall drinking game at home, that's two cheers now. Brody Marshall, who the hell do you think you are? I bet you think you're real smart taking out your contenders like that. But guess what? You've just made this a hell of a lot worse for yourself. So a battle for supremacy, you're not going to take on one of them, you're going to take on both. And because you like swinging chairs so much, and all these people like seeing that, it's going to be in a hardcore match. So a no contest, and now a triple threat hardcore match, a battle for supremacy. Oh, come on. Come on, Luke Santa Maria here in his $5,000 suit. Thank you, thank you so much, gentlemen. What? What? $5,000 suit. They're checking the sister's feet. 